Hello folks, uh, what am I trying to do here? Uh, just trying to give you a quick example of how we could create a universe or more actually uh, not a UNV file but I'm talking of a, a what was it a business uh, foundation layer in business objects 4.0 uh, again this is not supposed to be a official guide or something just a quick uh, example on how you could do it took me some time to figure it out as it's quite different from the previous versions so i thought a quick demo might be of help so here we're gonna log in into uh the 4.0 enterprise i mean i have it locally installed on my machine i'm gonna go into the not into the universe design tool but into where did it go the information design tool uh, as you see, it's 14.0 version, uh, basically 4.0. I don't know why it's 14.0. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just close all here and then I'm gonna create a new project here. So I'm gonna say new project and Ganatra demo. Okay, finish it here. In the demo project, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new relational connection. Okay, resource name and Ganatra relational connection. This is oh, actually sorry. This is gonna be the yeah. This is the connection. So it's gonna be. I'm gonna create a quick one year for uh, MS Access uh, 2007. Uh, okay, where do we have it here? Microsoft. 2007 ODBC driver. I've already created that ODBC driver. I will later show you how to create the ODBC driver. I mean, it's quite simple in uh, XPV and all those cases, but it's a little different in uh, 2007. I'll show it to you later. Okay, going to take an existing ODBC driver here. GFOPOC ODBC. Next, actually, I'm just going to hit finish here. And so I have this new connection. I'm going to test it. You see the test is successful. I'm going to close it. Uh, let me see if I can close these other projects actually. Close project. Close project. Okay, go back to this demo here. So now this demo has a connection. What do we uh, need next here? Let's see. What we're going to need next here is a data foundation. That is where we are going to, you know, define all our tables or bring in all the tables from the database. Let's call this, uh, I'm just going to give it some name here, and Ganatra Data Foundation. Right now, I'm just going to keep it single and take a single source. As you see, it has the options of multiple source, but let's go single, simple here. Single source. I'm going to take the connection that I've already defined inside this project and say finish. Okay. Uh, go to data foundation here. Right now, there are zero tables. I'm going to say insert data foundation view. Oops, nope, sorry. Insert. There should be an option to insert tables. Insert tables. Okay, I'm going to take this POC table. These are all other access system tables. I'm just going to take the GFO POC table, say finish. So we have the table in here. Uh, okay, and I'm going to shape on that. Click a shape. Next, what I'm going to create here is a new business layer. Relational business layer. I'm going to call it Nganatra Business layer data foundation select the existing data foundation in my project click on finish oops click on finish it's actually automatically created all the classes uh, basically what it has done is it has created objects from the existing table I'm gonna go to length here and I this is supposed to be a measure. I am at the moment not sure how to change it. So here I'm going to just delete it. Keep it simple. Delete it and then create a new measure. New measure and call it uh, length. And 
from this equal assistant i'm going to say p o c and bring in the length i'm going to leave this aggregation function as sum i'm going to uh, i'm going to show one additional new feature that is there in uh, the uh, 4.0 world and let me quickly show you that let me drag this count in another way to pull in the measure i'm going to put it here so something called calculated columns which you can create you'll have to do it actually in the data foundation not in the business layer so i go to the data foundation here click on the dfx file create something called insert calculated columns uh we leave the name as calculated column and how I am going to use it is say length divide by count. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm going to go save this once again. Go back to the business layer. Take the calculated column. Put it here. When I get in here, I'm going to shave this baby. Oops problem saving the connection let's try this save 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 has this worked let me just try changing this name okay uh, now I'm gonna try and export this actually Let's see, Enganatra. There was an option to export this. Enganatra, is it the business layer that I export? Let's see, yes, publish to local folder. I'm not connected to a repository, so I'm just gonna publish it to the local folder. Not doing any integrity checks, just going in here. It goes to users, my I number, app data, roaming SAP business objects. SAP Business Subjects Enterprise XI 4.0 Universes. That's what I'm going to leave it as. Finish. Universe published successfully. Now, if I go into the tool for reporting here in 4.0, I'm going to use the information. No, sorry. Where did it go? The interactive analysis desktop, though we may not be using it in our corporate environment. For the demo, I'm going to use it now. Well, actually, it is web intelligence but confused with the names here okay okay I'm gonna select more here I'm gonna select universes and select more go to this Nganathra business layer select that G for POC Yep, there you have your calculated column. Uh, going to explain later as to what the calculated column is and why we need it here at the UNX file and have not created it in the report. Uh, more on that next time. Thank you. Hope this was helpful and as a quick review of how to create the UNX file. Thank you. How do I stop this recording?